Today we celebrate the solemnity of St. Patrick, the patron, uh, the principal saint of Ireland and one of the patrons of Australia. St. Patrick is known as being one of the great inspiration for missionaries. Missionaries came to this country from Ireland up until very recently. Um, many, I, I would think, in the church here have had experiences of, of Irish priests um, as parish priests in this diocese and perhaps even some Irish priests here in this parish um, if you go back a few decades. The Irish have been inspired by St. Patrick to bring the good news of Christ to others. And St. Patrick, interestingly, was not Irish, came from an English background. He was um, kidnapped um, as, a, as a teenager, taken in slavery to Ireland. And he was treated very badly there, and eventually escaped out of that after an extended period of time in Ireland. He was able to get back to England, then he went to spend some time in France and um, was trained um, as a priest. And then he was sent by St. Augustine of Canterbury to be the first apostle or the first missionary, you could say, to Ireland. And I think that would have been a very difficult situation for the Patrick. In one sense, yes, he knew the language of the people. He knew perhaps some of the environment, the beautiful lands of Ireland. But he also knew the situation whereby he'd been treated badly. It was an experience of darkness for him, in one sense, to go to Ireland. And he could have easily held a grudge and been nasty and really, and really brought something not of God. But he said, no, I'm going to bring mercy. And so St. Patrick goes to Ireland and he starts to proclaim the good news, even to people who had previously put him into slavery and into captivity and treated him appallingly. I think this is a great reminder for us all that perhaps the ones we're meant to go and proclaim the good news to at times are the ones who even we might find most difficult from our own journey. People we think, no, they can't hear the gospel. I can't speak the gospel to them because of what they've done to me in the past. And St. Patrick says, no, God's grace is greater than, the, than perhaps the experience of, of Satan that can happen in other places. Sometimes I refer to St. Patrick as being the one who drove the, the snakes out of Ireland. There's not a great um, archaeological evidence to say there was extensive snakes in Ireland. I think it's perhaps more of an image of the presence of evil. That we didn't allow evil to reign. He came to bring the grace of God, the love of God. And today, we should be affirmed by that witness of St. Patrick that happened 1,500 years and more ago, that inspired that land of Ireland, that then has inspired missionaries in his tradition to then go from Ireland to bring the good news of Christ to other places, including our own place here in Australia. Pray for parishes around our own diocese today that celebrate St. Patrick. Pray for all people of an Irish background and pray today for all people, um, all, all Catholics, that we will be inspired by St. Patrick's life to be missionaries. All of us are called to go and proclaim the good news of Christ to others. Our readings today remind us of this. We're called to be sent out to proclaim the good news of Christ. Let us reaffirm our commitment to Christ today in the way of St. Patrick to be missionary disciples of Christ in our parish, in our diocese, and in our world. St. Patrick, pray for us.